it is cold enough here that the vinegar is frozen. Good morning. Welcome back to The Real McNeils. Routine is a little bit different this morning because our little reader went to bed and read again. So I'm hanging out folding clothes, making sure that she's getting up because she doesn't want to get up again this morning. You know, there's a lot worse problems you could have than your kid reading at night, but it makes it so hard for her to get up. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> She's just rolling around in there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Getting ready. Quick, 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 quick. Dad and Tig just started something I'd never ever heard of before in my life. I was doing Tiggy's hair and Daddy sock helped her get her <laughs> Daddy <laughs> helped her get her snow pants on and she got a sock wedgie. Have you heard of that, Addison? She pulled my socks so they were like that in between my toes. Bye. Bye. Love you. Have a good day. Thanks. Stay warm. The cold has hit. Caden and I were laughing. And I offered him some frozen ketchup as I was dropping him off at school. But it turns out that it's not ketchup, it is vinegar. So apparently it's so cold that the vinegar is frozen. Did you guys know that vinegar froze? I didn't. So there's your science fact for the day. It is cold enough here that the vinegar is frozen. So today on my list of things to do, I need to work with Addie on Awana. I need to go to Costco. I need to edit a vlog and I need to make a couple of phone calls. I feel like I have a lot to do in a short amount of time. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to accomplish. I'm gonna have to prioritize here and figure it out. And I am too cold to take my jacket off. It is minus 11 this morning, but it feels like minus 20. So I feel a bit bad that Tiggy had to stand outside in the cold for a bit, but in order to get Kato over to school, I had to drop her off early enough that I could get to both without Caden being late. The other day, like three minutes later, made it so that we sat in traffic so long that he was late for school. So, you know, it's not ideal, but it's the way that we have to make things work right now. Okay, so we're gonna be real here, you guys. I just worked out. I had berries with oatmeal and oat milk before I worked out, but I'm totally breaking out. I've never had a reaction to any of those things before, but I think eating them and then working out, for some reason, I am having some sort of reaction. It's kinda weird. It's not itchy, but it's really burning and hot, and Clancy came in and he's like, wow, are you exhausted because you just look completely exhausted? And I said, no, I ate berries and it seems like today my body doesn't like berries. Product update. The dried mangoes from Costco are fantastic. Some of them are really sweet, which some mangoes just are. They might use really ripe ones, but then every once in a while you will get a sour one. That's absolutely fantastic. Miss Addy Patty doesn't like them, but they just look like the regular ones, but they're not completely coated in sugar. So highly recommended. They are actually even the Kirkland Signature organic mangoes. Perfect. Try them if you get the chance and you like mangoes. Just a quick note on how I do our chicken. We very rarely eat just straight up full on chicken just due to how expensive it is. So as you can see, I have split the package in half. I just cut it in half and then I put them each in a bag and I freeze them. Because chicken is so expensive here, it's not very often that we will do just a full serving size of meat for each person. We will use it for stir fries and things like that. Um, sometimes in the summer we'll splurge and we'll do that, but like this package is $25.64, so I believe I spent $21.64. We would need the whole package in order to feed our family supper. So supper right off the top with that chicken would end up costing us 
like $22 and that's on sale. So regular priced chicken, maybe you'll understand why we don't just feed the family full on big pieces of chicken. Now those are pretty big. We probably could kind of share them, but we would still need at least six of them, which is three quarters of the package. The other thing is that sometimes I will buy chicken thighs because they come on a much better sale and they're cheaper. And then if we are to serve chicken as like a whole, here's like a chunk of chicken, we'll usually do it with a thigh or drumsticks. Those are our two that we usually will do up on the barbecue or things like that. Every once in a while we splurge and do chicken wings too. And then we'll do just like a honey baked chicken or something like that. But yeah, that is typically the way that it works for us, especially with budgeting and whatnot and trying to be careful with how much we spend. Chicken is one of those things that we kind of have to limit how much we eat just due to the cost that it would make on our budget. Headed out to get Kato. It has been a busy day, but I did manage to get my vlog edited and it's rendering. So that was another thing off the checklist. I haven't even started supper. So when I get home from bringing him home, I need to go and figure out what to make these kiddos for supper tonight, what to make Clancy and I for supper. I think we have a decent amount of leftovers, but it's just been a good day, very productive. Kieran is going to take Addie and try and meet up with Tegan over on the snow piles, just hang out there while they're waiting for her to come home. I feel like I did a great job hitting all of those to-dos today. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I may not have got absolutely everything done, but pretty darn close. Tiggy is the only one who has to get up for school tomorrow. Whenever that happens, I always wonder if I should just let her skip, but we're not. She's gonna go to school. It's not like we have anything else going on. The weather's a little bit cooler. It's cold in the morning, you guys. It was like minus 16, felt like minus 20 this morning. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to get up and do it again, but it is Friday and we are looking forward to a couple of mornings of not having to get up and get the kids out the door to school, maybe laying about, wearing some PJs, just hanging out. Be sure to come back. I do think that I'm going to get Clancy to cut my hair. So if you want to see Clancy do his first haircut and me... <laughs> go through the terror of having him cut my hair, be sure to come back. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button for us, and we'll see you soon.